Hello YouTube, Dugana here. It's a great day to be an American. Let freedom reign. Today I'm going to show you a new scope and mount that I just got to put on my 6.5 Grendel AR. I wanted to get something with a little more magnification than the one to six power I have on it for accuracy testing. So what I ended up going with is this primary arms 4 to 14 power front focal plane with the mill dot reticle. And I'm very curious to try this out because I've never had a front focal plane rifle scope and I also got the aero precision ultralight scope mount since this scope is a little bit heavier than my uh, strike eagle one to six power I wanted to get something that would keep the overall package close to the same we'll go ahead and get these out of the boxes and get them on the rifle and I'll do a follow-up video to see how the scope worked for me at the range one thing on this uh, scope box I was not too happy about was to see damage on both the top and the bottom of the box. Fortunately, it does not appear that the scope is wrecked, but this box, all they do is they pack it into bubble wrap and they had another uh, piece of plastic over it, but there's no cushions, nothing to kind of keep it in the right place on the box. It comes with these umbrella style scope caps. I know this scope has been reviewed by quite a few people, so we're not going to get an in-depth review here. Just a quick look to let you guys know what I'm doing. Here you guys can see the reticle. This is just on the 4-power front focal plane. You will see the reticle grow in size. Here you can see it's gotten a little bit larger. This is the 4-14-power, to 14 power, which you change here. And it is nice, it moves smoothly, but has resistance so it won't be moving on its own. Obviously you can uh, focus the scope here in the back for your eye. It has the wind engine elevation or exposed. It's one, each click is one tenth of a mil. But they turn freely, but not, easy, not super easily. It has positive clicks and then it also has the focus knob or parallax knob on the left so you, from 10 to infinity so you can focus down to 10 and up to infinity but it seems to be well made you can see there it's primary arms for 14 by 44 it feels durable we'll go ahead and throw it on the scale Uh, 23 and a half ounces. Here's the bottom of the scope. This is the model number, serial number. It is a made in China scope. Uh, again, it's a 30 millimeter tube. Take a quick look at the mount. This is the Aero Precision Ultralight SPR mount for a 30 millimeter tube, which is what we need. Definitely looks like a, feels like a good quality mount. I was a little bit worried with something so light that it would, uh, Maybe feel somehow flimsy, but it feels really nice. Three and a half ounces. So the total package, 23 and a half plus three and a half will be 27 ounces. So we'll see how that compares to my current uh, scope that I have on the gun. So the Vortex Strike Eagle with the Vortex mount, 25.35 ounces. So we only added about 1.65 ounces to the gun. But yeah, I'm really excited to get this scope on, try out my first ever front focal plane scope, and try out this ultralight precision mount, which I've heard a lot of good things about. So we'll get it on the gun and take a look at All it. Alright, I got the Primary Arms 4 to 14 power front focal plane scope mounted on my 6.5 Grendel Hunter upper, and in the Aero Precision Ultralight 30mm SPR mount. So I'm excited to get this out to the range, report back to you guys about how I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and you guys be safe out there.